so my condition doesn't seem to be good right now then welcome back to my channel today is April 9 and this video is going to be special because I am going to be baking bread for my German husband if you guys have been following me since a while and if you have seen my recent videos you know I've been married to a German since past few years so it's like this that since we often end up eating Indian food time and again my husband asks me hmm, can we just do broadside and broadside is basically word to word if you translate it it is bread time and it's a very typical traditional Bavarian cuisine so Bavaria is a state in Germany where you basically eat different types of breads mainly pretzel and like the dark brown bread with different things like cheese sausage different types of meat other than sausage and mainly a cheese called Opatsta I will be baking a bread which is like I would say a very basic bread and I hope a Rajasthani can finally bake a good bread for a German guy got my basic items here is the flour here are my measuring spoons my salt I've got my hefe so yeast I was almost dying that I did not have it That's how my bread looks like and I just have to cover it for two to three hours hoping that it will turn out to be exactly what I'm expecting it to be a few moments later let us check how the dough looks oh my god this looks amazing this has been properly fermented now I have to give it a touch up That's it. That's my touch to it. So my condition doesn't seem to be good right now. And I remember exactly this week last year I had the same condition. I had very, very strong sudden sneezing attack. I had itchiness in the throat, I had water in my eyes and I very well remember this condition because last year I was pregnant this time and since I was sick like that I could not take any medicine. I went to the doctor and he said okay we uh, give you some plant medication and it will be fine in a couple of days and then I took officially off and I was staying at home for three to four days I would say probably even more than four days and exactly at this time again this year I have this problem and initially like three days ago when I started to sneeze I thought maybe it is something that I should be careful about because maybe I'm catching some flu or something but I realize it's not flu it's the allergy time right now and there are certain trees and flowers and some people who are sensitive to it 
are having right now these symptoms and I know it because some people in my family are having this allergy and out of the blue this allergy showed up so people who I know they had no allergy whatsoever like for last 25 years of their life and suddenly in the 26th year they have this strong allergy from Poland and that too <clears throat> from very specific plants some from very specific trees and from very specific uh, flowers and I also think that I have developed this allergy being in Germany because I never had this this allergy before and I know exactly that's how it starts you have slight headache you have extreme strong sneezing and you have running nose and you have itchiness in your throat so two days ago I started uh, taking half a citrusin because I thought probably it's just a regular cold and it will be fine and uh, the citrusin did not work out and like 12 hours later things got better i thought okay it's all good and then today like yesterday evening and this morning it again started so i really don't uh, like this kind of sickness because it's like i did not even do anything my body just changed to this damn weather i'd say and now i have problems coming back to the bread the bread is right now baking it's in the middle of the baking I think I have a good 30 minutes left. Today I'm excited for the bread because um, I have a deep feeling like deep down that it's going to be it's going to be a nice bread. And also today I'm really happy because yesterday evening I called a friend of mine and I talked to her like almost two hours on the phone, although she's living very close to me and we are on house quarantine and we are not allowed to meet. Because of that, I had to call her and we talked for so long and it was really funny because sometimes you just like, you know, those sometimes there are days when you uh, suddenly get to talk and like there are so many things you have to talk and then you end up talking, wow, so, so like really lovely, lovely things. I was also sharing with her like... She also has a baby and I was sharing with her that, yeah, I have seen uh, while raising my kid that there are cultural differences when it comes to raising a kid in countries and uh, I see definitely lots of cultural differences when it comes to raising our kid because my husband comes from Germany and I come from India and it's not that we are two different countries in one continent, we are just absolutely two different continents so there's like, like a lot of um, differences that I see some of them are like I really don't I, I some of them are very strong and I think okay well I think I will do so differently and not like that and some of them are like okay that makes sense so I will keep my uh, way of raising the kid on the side and I will try to take that and things like that I was talking to her so if you guys would like to know what uh, cultural differences I have been experiencing in raising our interracial kid then let me know I would really really love to share those with you uh, by the way guys thank you for constantly writing me emails I'm trying my best and I'm right now replying to your emails if there there's like any query any doubt any question that you'd like to ask me you can simply write me an email and I will reply to it huh. मैंने आज मम्मी एक ब्रेड बेक करी पहली बार हाँ मैं मम्मी नेक्स्ट टाइम हाँ मैं नेक्स्ट टाइम ना आटे वाले फ्लावर से ही करूँगी इस बार तो मैंने मैदे की करी क्योंकि रेसिपी में मैदा ही था पर मैं नेक्स्ट टाइम ना आटे वाले की करूँगी मैं दिखाती हूँ आपको दैट इस द ब्रेड आई हैव अ फीलिंग इट्स डन but it looks like a very strange loaf and not like the loaf I expected it to be. However, it's not bad. I mean, it's looking like fully baked. It looks like a strange loaf though. So that's how it looks. It's really hard, but it's supposed to be this hard. And I just have to see now how it comes out when I chop it. Yummy. 